So from all of us, <laughs> thank you. And Gary joins us again now. And you know, when you take a look around out here, Gary, there is still so much work to be done. Well, you know, some houses still need to be built back up and others actually still need to be torn down. And that's why the KCTV5 Surprise Squad made a stop here in Oak Grove just last week to make sure the people here know that we're all still thinking about them. Everyone in Oak Grove has a story of survival. Moments in time they will never forget. 81-year-old Ruth Jones grabbed her lantern, dog Max, and headed for her bathroom. And we just got in here and I said, damn. One block over from Ruth, a few homes were flattened. A loving grandmother and mother believed she had angels watching over her. Do you think your husband was also with you as well? I felt his presence, yes. It's been, I'm sorry, but it has been a hard year. Up the hill on a narrow country road, Felicia Terrell and her four kids were in their farmhouse. It didn't sound like a roar or a train to me. It just sounded like a, just like a really deep, mean sound. The frantic mom corralled her kids and went for the basement, but the suction from the EF3 tornado was too powerful. I had a baby in one arm and pulling the door. I just covered all over them and said, God, just please protect us. About a half mile south of the old farmhouse, the Kemp family had just gotten home. Oak Grove Middle School principal Tracy Kemp knew the twister was close. And as I looked at it, I could tell it was right over here on I-70 in Grain Valley where Oida is at. His wife, Michelle. I can remember him looking at me and thinking, this is, that's close. The Kemps, their three children, son's girlfriend, and three dogs somehow squeezed into their tiny bathroom. And about that time, electricity went out, and you could hear it. And everyone would ask us, does it sound like a freight train? And my kids said, we don't know, because the only thing that we heard was my mom's voice praying. The morning after, the Kemps' siding and gutters were ripped off, their pool and deck ruined, and playset gone. The storm has moved on, but it still felt in Oak Grove. Two and a half months later, the Kemps are battling their insurance company. Michelle broke her foot while cleaning the yard and hasn't been able to work. It's absolutely overwhelming, and the other thing is just, it's just unpredictable. The Kemps have been saving for their son Austin to go to college, but now they're worried that that money might be needed for their house. For Felicia, whose home was not insured, a blue tarp is the only option to keep rain out. Some say they should move out, but... We never thought about it. We never thought about moving. Homes and lives are slowly being rebuilt. This last year has been really tough for you, right? My husband got sick. Well, he's had dementia several years, but it got worse. And then they put him in a nursing home. He passed away in August. The KCTV5 Surprise Squad heard these three stories, and that's why we're here. We are all about paying it forward and making someone's day a little bit brighter. And that includes you and your family. We hope this will help you get back on your feet and walking down the road of life again. Sincerely, the KCTV5 Surprise Squad. The first surprise, a $500 gift card. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the second? And we contacted AAS Restoration and Roofing. Mm -hmm. And we told them about your story. Mm -hmm. And they said, no problem. They're going to donate everything you need to have a brand new roof on your home. Thank well, you. We found the Kemps at a Chamber of Commerce meeting. I am here with KCTV5 to do a special on Oak Grove, but I'm also with the KCTV5 Surprise Squad. This is one plant to kind of start the process of fixing up your back patio. We know that you guys have had a lot of expenses and um, Austin's going to college. And so this is just from the KCTV5 Surprise Squad. This is a gift card at Target. Oh my God, for $1,000. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. The final surprise is for Ruth. So the first thing I wanted to give you, it's small, but it is a nice bouquet of flowers. So then this, is from the Surprise Squad. We have this for you, and you can turn it over and see. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's, you want me to say what it is? If you want to. <laughs> it's a card, gift card for $500. <laughs> Thank you so yes. much. Yes. Oh, Ruth, yes. <laughs> 